Recently, a discovery has captivated scientists and space enthusiasts across the globe. Bill Nye, the renowned science communicator, made headlines when he revealed that Voyager 1 had detected over 300 mysterious massive objects drifting in deep space. This revelation has sparked widespread curiosity and raised profound questions. What are these objects? Where did they come from? And what do they mean for our understanding of the cosmos? Today on Waves Discovery, we follow this astonishing data trail and uncover what might be one of the most important clues to the nature of interstellar space. Launched in the summer of 1977, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were initially designed for short missions, intended to last just five years, focused on studying Jupiter and Saturn. However, thanks to a groundbreaking idea by Michael Minovich involving planetary gravity assists, the mission was extended far beyond its original scope. Not only did the Voyagers provide detailed images and data from Jupiter and Saturn, but Voyager 2 also became the first spacecraft to make close flybys of Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989. These planetary encounters, collectively known as the Voyager Grand Tour, transformed planetary science and opened a new chapter in our exploration of the solar system. Though decades have passed since their launch, both spacecraft continue their journey. In 2013, Voyager 1 achieved a historic milestone by becoming the first human-made object to enter interstellar space, crossing beyond the Sun's magnetic influence. Voyager 2 followed in 2018. Both spacecraft now traverse a region between the stars known as the interstellar medium, where they are studying how particles from deep space interact with solar wind, an invisible stream of charged particles flowing from the sun. These observations have helped researchers better understand the heliosphere, a protective bubble around our solar system shaped by solar wind. At the outer edge of this bubble lies the heliopause, the invisible boundary between our solar system and interstellar space. Beyond the heliopause, the Voyagers encountered an intense increase in cosmic rays, high-energy particles from deep space, showing that the interstellar environment is far more hostile than previously believed. In 2023, Voyager 1 picked up a faint, low-frequency hum, likely caused by vibrations in sparse gas drifting through space. According to Nicola Fox, head of NASA's Heliophysics Division, the Voyager missions have dramatically advanced our understanding of the Sun and its influence on space over the past 46 years. These discoveries came despite incredible challenges. Both spacecraft run on decaying plutonium-based power systems, which produce less heat and electricity over time. To preserve energy, NASA has shut down non-essential systems, including heaters designed to keep onboard instruments from freezing. Yet remarkably, all five of Voyager 1's key scientific instruments continue to function, defying expectations in the harsh cold of interstellar space. Another surprising discovery is that the heliopause is not a fixed boundary. It shifts and deforms, forming strange angles and showing irregular patterns that puzzle scientists. Using data from both Voyager's and NASA's Interstellar Boundary Explorer, or IBEX, researchers have found that the position of the heliopause fluctuates over time. This might explain why Voyager 1 entered interstellar space in 2012 while Voyager 2, despite following a similar path, only crossed in 2018. Such inconsistencies challenge long-standing models. In 2014, IBEX detected a sudden brightening of energetic particles, hinting at unusual behavior within the heliopause. These findings don't fit established theories, raising new questions and sparking debate in the scientific community. A recent article in Nature Astronomy even referred to these discrepancies as entry-speaking, pointing to the need for deeper investigation into how our solar system interacts with the galaxy beyond. NASA hopes that the upcoming Interstellar Mapping and Acceleration Probe, or IMAP, scheduled to launch in 2025, will help fill in the gaps. IMAP is designed to provide more detailed insights into how solar wind interfaces with interstellar particles, potentially helping to make sense of the Voyager data. Until then, the mysteries persist. In May 2023, Voyager 1 experienced a strange anomaly when its Attitude Articulation and Control System, or AACS, began sending back confusing data. This system is crucial for keeping the spacecraft's high-gain antenna pointed toward Earth. 
While Voyager 1's signal remained strong and stable, its reports appeared garbled, almost as if the spacecraft was experiencing electronic aphasia. The rest of the spacecraft functioned normally, and its fault protection system wasn't triggered. NASA soon found that the AACS had been attempting to use an inactive onboard computer to process data. Engineers sent a simple command to reroute the data through a functioning system, resolving the issue. However, the cause of the miscommunication is still unclear. NASA suspects a faulty command from another onboard system may have caused the error. Though not life-threatening to the mission, the incident illustrates how, even after nearly 50 years, the Voyagers still face unpredictable challenges in space. And yet, they endure. Both spacecraft are far beyond the protective magnetic field of the Sun, leaving them exposed to the raw forces of deep space. This environment allows high-energy particles to interact directly with the computers onboard, sometimes causing memory errors. Project manager Susan Dodd acknowledged that anomalies like these are to be expected at this stage of the mission. After all, the Voyagers are pushing the limits of exploration, operating in uncharted space where no other probe has gone. That they still function is nothing short of miraculous. Their computer systems dating back to the 1970s have less memory than the average digital watch, just 70 kilobytes. Yet NASA continues to send software updates across billions of miles, essentially offering remote tech support from Earth to machines floating alone in the vast darkness. Despite their age, these spacecraft continue to deliver revolutionary science. Each is about the size of a small car and represents the technological brilliance of a different era. Their analog TV cameras, primitive by today's standards, uncovered details that were once unimaginable. Voyager's data revealed Jupiter not just as a gaseous giant, but a planet of violent storms, auroras, and complex ring structures. Saturn's rings, once believed to be simple bands, were shown to contain thousands of thin, braided structures. Voyager also discovered active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io and nitrogen geysers erupting on Neptune's moon Triton at temperatures near absolute zero. Perhaps most tantalizing were the signs of possible alien life. Voyager data suggested that moons such as Europa and Enceladus harbor vast oceans beneath icy shells. These oceans may provide the right conditions for life, making them prime targets for future missions. In the early 1990s, Voyager 1 gave us one of the most iconic images in space exploration. At Carl Sagan's suggestion, it turned its camera back toward Earth, capturing the famous pale blue dot, a distant image of our planet from over 3.7 billion miles away. In that photo, Earth appears as a tiny speck, suspended in a sunbeam. It's a reminder of our fragile place in the cosmos. Voyager 1 is now over 14.7 billion miles from Earth, and Voyager 2 isn't far behind. Each day, they move several light seconds farther away. It now takes nearly 22.5 hours for Voyager 1's signals to reach Earth, and about 19 hours for Voyager 2. NASA's Deep Space Network, a global system of tracking stations, ensures that communication remains possible, though increasingly faint. The spacecraft now whisper across a sea of cosmic noise, yet their voices continue to deliver vital data. Which brings us to the most recent and astonishing revelation. Voyager 1's detection of over 300 massive, unknown objects in space. These objects were identified through subtle gravitational disturbances and unusual electromagnetic patterns. Their origins remain a mystery. Some scientists believe they could be rogue planets, ancient remnants from stellar explosions, or clusters of dense interstellar material. Others speculate more boldly, could these objects be artifacts or megastructures of non-human origin? No one knows for certain. NASA has yet to release a full analysis, and investigations are ongoing. However, the implications are profound. This could point to previously unknown regions of interstellar space, or even phenomena that challenge current astrophysics. As always, the Voyager mission reminds us that the universe is far more complex and wondrous than we can imagine. And the fact that a spacecraft launched nearly half a century ago is still making such discoveries is a testament to human curiosity, perseverance, and ingenuity. The legacy of Voyager 1 and 2 is not just about where they've been, 
but about how they continue to reshape our view of the cosmos. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think those 300 mysterious objects could be? And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Space Loop for more explorations into the unknown.